Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and we are today studying the Cambridge O Levels Physics 5054. We are working on the new topic which is added into the syllabus of the physics. And this is about the solar system. And today's video is about the universe. So let's start today's video. So today we will talk about the universe. And the focus points of this video will be know that the universe is made up of billions of galaxies, the Milky Way being just one. Describe redshift and know that light emitted from stars is dis in distant galaxies appears redshifted which is evidence the universe is expanding and supports the Big Bang theory. Star clusters together in galaxies. A typical galaxy has a diameter of around 30,000 light years with neighboring galaxies around 3 million light years away. The universe is composed of billions of galaxies that all appear to be residing from the Earth so that the light from, from glowing hydrogen takes on a redder color. Redshift measurements of the light from distant galaxies suggest that the universe is expanding and support the Big Bang theory of the origin of the universe. The universe, the Milky Way, is one of the billions of galaxies that make up the universe. The diameter of the Milky Way galaxy is around 100,000 light years, and it contains 800 billions or more stars. So the universe, you know, you must have heard that the universe is expanding, the expanding universe. In developing a theory about the origin of the universe, two discoveries about galaxies have to be taken into account. The first is that light emitted from glowing hydrogen in stars in distant galaxies is shifted to the red end of the spectrum, longer wavelength, in comparison with the value on Earth. The second is, the further away a galaxy is from us, the greater is this redshift. These observations can be explained if other galaxies are moving away from us very rapidly. And the further away they are, the faster is their speed of recession. Evidently, the universe is expanding. The in, this interpretation is based on the Doppler effect, which occurs when a source of waves is moving. If the source approaches us, waves are crowded into a smaller space, and their wavelength seems smaller and their frequency greater. If source moves away, the wavelength seems larger. Residing stars and galaxies are therefore shifted to the red end of the spectrum. You see, the red end, the red color has the longest. Uh, wavelength and its frequency is lowest. The Doppler effect occurs when sound waves and explains the rise with sound waves and explains the rise and fall of pitch of a siren as the vehicle approaches and passes us. The same effect is shown by light when the light source is residing. The wavelength seems longer, that is, the light is redder. From the size of the redshift of the starlight, 
the speed of recession of the galaxy can be calculated. The most distant ones visible are residing with speeds up to one third of the speed of light. The redshift in the light from distant galaxies provide evidence that universe is expanding and gives support to the Big Bang theory of the formation of the universe. So uh, you see, if this diagram 6.25, if a source is at rest, so this is the wavelength which the observer and this is the frequent observer will receive. And if the source is approaching, you see the waves will be crowded in a smaller space. So the wavelength which the observer will observe will decrease. And if the, the source is going away, it's residing, then those waves will be in a larger space. So the observer here will receive the waves whose wavelength will become longer and their frequency will fall. This is called Doppler's effect. And this is, when this happens with the light, we call that when this happens with the light, the source of the light is going away from the source. We say that because the, the waves which the observer receives, their wavelength is more than the wavelength of the original wavelengths which are emitted. So we call it that the source is redshifted. It means that the source is going away from us. The Big Bang Theory. If the galaxies are residing from each other, it follows that in the past, they must have been closer together. It is therefore possible that initially all the matter in the universe was packed together in an extremely dense state. The Big Bang theory proposed that this was the case and that the universe started about 14 billion years ago from one place with a huge explosion, the Big Bang. The resulting expansion of the universe continues today, but predictions vary about what will happen in the future. The critical factors appears to be the density of matter in the universe. This is difficult to calculate because scientists currently believe that as much as 80% of the material in the universe is invisible since it does not emit radiation. It may be that this hidden mass exerts sufficient gravitational force to lead the universe to collapse. The gravitational force between The gravitational force between masses not only determines the motion and evolution of planets, stars, and galaxies, but will also control the ultimate fate of the universe. So my dear students, in this video, we have talked about the redshift, uh, the Doppler effect, and the Big Bang theory. So I hope you have understand and I am telling you again and again because this is the first time this uh, uh, this syllabus has been, this topic has been added into the Cambridge O-Levels uh, physics. So please, there are very good documentaries on the YouTube. So watch those documentaries about the universe, about the Big Bang Theory, about the expansion of the universe about the solar system, planets, it's their moons, and about each planet. So that will help you to understand this concept. So please keep watching my videos and also keep watching other videos about this topic. That will help you to master this concept. The topic which I am, I just read in front of you, this is from the IGCSC physics book. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day. God bless you all.